guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to Vanessa's Tele vlog so today's video guys is just an update on how to become a 5-1 talk teacher and I'm sorry for the light I just on my ring light for a better quality of video so today's video is um pertaining or regarding about the 5-1 talk again ah oh, balik that so ito pala 5-1 talk again and as of today I have 4 book class and it will start at uh, 6.30 in the evening and uh, my students are all age 5 so nasa early stage sila ng kanilang learning and um, tomorrow meron daw um, maintenance kemerut ang PLDT so all open slots ano I clean those so yung mga book class ko tomorrow I think I have two and hindi ko na siguro sila ma mahahandle kasi wala ang internet so I don't know kung ano yung gagawin ng 51 Talk Philippines on how to handle that situation kasi I don't have any backup internet connection I do have a smart packet Wi-Fi but I think that is not enough for the internet connection needed in teaching online classes so I don't know if what will gonna happen next tomorrow so buti na lang dalawang uh, book class lang ang meron ako for tomorrow and what else um <clears throat> uh, and uh, I'm still a bit nervous it was my it is my uh, third day being an online teacher in 5-1 talk and um, as of this moment I have one 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 complain na bad complain which is uh, sabi a uh, lack of patience pero I I don't remember na nagpakita ako ng um, pagkayamot sa bagets cause I know naman the circumstances or the sanctions pag nagpakita ka ng, ng pagkayamot sa bagets sa uh, students kahit na hindi siya nakikinig well pero sabi nga nila you cannot please everybody um, kahit na ginawa mo na lahat ng best mo just to please the students just to finish the lesson is meron at meron pa rin talagang masasabi ang parents so it's up to them and I think I did my best so just shrug my shoulder so ang aking satisfaction is satisfaction rate satisfaction rate today is from 100 naging 67% na lang siya so being a new hard teacher in 5-1 talk it's kind of bit um, a hurtful effect kasi parang ooh, third, uh, second day ko pa lang I have a bad comment na how much more if uh um, tumagal na ako so ma mga makakaipon siguro ako ng madami so it's okay as long as uh, as long as hindi ako tinatanggal sa 5-1 talk is, it's okay so I've, I, I, I'll i just do my best for the next time or uh, yun nga we cannot please everybody so yun uh, bahala na si Lord <laughs> um, kung this job will meant for me the okay if it's not and then okay pa din Okay, and what else? Uh, so yun lang. Um, sa five one talk pala guys. That if ah uh, tatanong niyo kung magkano ang rate or sahod per student is depende yan sa ranking. Kasi sa <clears throat> sa five one talk meron silang mga rank. So meron siyang new hire. Tapos uh, newly qualified teacher so newly qualified teacher na ako so nasa third stage na ako meron kasi yung new hire and then parang meron pang isa nakalimutan ko na and then newly, newly qualified teacher and then junior teacher and then senior teacher and then master teacher ganon so nasa ano ako nasa newly qualified teacher so ang rate ko is 57% pesos guys 57 pesos ang rate ko as newly hired teacher lahat ng newly hired teacher is 50 uh, 54 pala 54 pesos um 
for 25 minutes. So, 25 minutes lang siya. It's not 1 hour. You can make 200 pesos for 1 hour if you are a master's teacher, master's degree teacher. So, ang um, master degree is rating niya is 67. So, 25, 25, 67, parang mahirap pa din. Di ko alam kung saan nang galing yung <laughs> Di ko alam kung saan nang galing yung ano, yung 200 200 per hour. So, hindi ko din alam. Oo, hindi ko rin alam. So, I'm sorry if 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 sinabi ko uh via social media kung magano yung sahod di ko din alam paano naging 200 pero siguro pwede talagang kayanin yung 200 na per hour pero guys ang maganda sa 51 talk you can start your schedule at 6 am until um 11:30 pm so ang haba-haba noon so mamomordan mo yung um, minimum wage mo kung maraming magbubuk sa yo so guys, ang 5-1 Talk, hindi sila ang nagbibigay ng student, kundi student ang nimimili kung gusto kanilang maging teacher. So, ganon. And then, what more? Um, and then, yun nga, may ratings, ratings doon. Ini-evaluate yung klase mo kasi nire-record yan ni 5-1 Talk for siguro uh, security purposes, ganyan and for the benefits of the students and also the teacher para if ever na kinomplain ka ni students na ganito ganyan which is hindi ka naman pala ganon is meron kang lavan meron kang lavan and guys kapag nag bad comment or bad oh, comment yung uh, yung yung parents sa'yo ayusin ko lang yung kilay ko guys ha bad comment yung parents sa'yo pwede kang mag appeal you can, ano, you can state your side kung bakit ganon so, yun. State mo lang yung sides mo. Sides. Side mo. And then, okay na. So, yun. Pwede mong i-appeal. Pero, I chose not to kasi, what, what, what's the, ano, the difference? Kasi, nag-bad, nag-bad comment na siya. So, um, for your, ano, for your side. Okay. Um... Bahala na si ano, bahala na si 51 Talk to evaluate my records. And then ano pa ba? So today my class will start at 6:30 in the evening. So it's showzin, showzin ang pangalan ng aking baguets. Napakahirap guys maging online teacher kasi yung student mo sometimes hindi nakikinig, hindi nakikikooperate. So it's hard for me kasi I don't have any teaching experience so it's hard for me to get the attention of the child the, the student so i don't know so pa practice muna ako ng pa practice siguro for one month maaano ko na siya ma gagamay ko na and i forgot to upload again my bank account kasi baka hindi ako sumahod dahil sa bank account na yan so, ayun lang guys. Thank you for watching my vlog for today. So, tomorrow mag update na naman ako kung ano ang bago at uh, kung anong pwede kong ma-share sa inyo about the 5-1 talk. So, ayun lang guys. So, ulitin ko for those who are wondering kung mahirap ba or madali mag-apply in 5-1 talk. Sasabihin ko sa inyo, madali in the first stage of the interview initial interview technical in, technical check uh, and then PSO madali lang yung mga yan ang mahirap is yung NTT kasi it is a pass or fail chapter of the uh, application so kailangan karirin, karirin mo pero don't worry guys kasi meron kang um, pagpapraktisan yung mismong ide-demo mo is ipibigay na sil nila sayo ahead of time so you still have time to practice practice and practice yun lang guys uh, thank you guys for watching my vlog and my video today bye